so Mays couldn't hold you. He wouldn't have seen the end of the day anyway. He had outlived his usefulness. You're too late here. This site is active. But don't worry, I haven't finished with you yet. Looks like he's done whatever he was doing, but the portal is still open. Follow him through. I'll stay here and teach these animals who Briar Rose is. I thought you weren't going to make it. You'll never catch up with me. How do you like the new world? This is just a taste of what's to come, boy. Just two more to go. Not making this much of a challenge. And now your flesh and blood is waiting for me. Damn him. We're too late. He must be at Hesman's Inn. That's where everyone else was heading. You better go after him. I'm exhausted. I need to find somewhere to rest. There is still some blood left in those hard old days. But look, here comes a fresh supply. Are you ready to see the guild burn, hero? Stop him! Jack's done it. He's activated them all. You must get to the Chamber of Fate in the guild. There's nothing we could do. He has power like none I've ever seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, Avo will help us all. Stop him, lad. For all our sakes, stop him. You've received a new quest card. What are you doing out here? Get into the Chamber of Fate and stop Jack. Family reunion. The mother, the son, the daughter, and the sword. There's only one thing. Hit <laughs> 
And now comes the choice I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the Sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the Vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? They're both where they belong now. Lost forever. It's time I found where I belong. I know it isn't here. The hero had triumphed over Jack of Blades and forsaken the dark power of the sword. When he stepped outside into daylight, the crowds cheered his name. He walked among them as a legend. As the months passed, the guild and its people would recover. Walls would be rebuilt and order restored. For Teresa, it would not be so easy. She retreated to distant lands where a lifetime of wounds might be allowed to heal. A whole year passed. With Jack gone, Albion returned to something approaching peace. And for once, the greatest of all heroes was able to rest. Nothing to me!
must destroy the mask. Whatever you do, you must not wear it. It was a battle that will be talked about for centuries to come. The day the hero of Oak Vale slew the dragon, Jack of Blades. The day the strange creature behind the mask was finally banished from this world. And this is where our tale must end. Though even the most hopeful of hearts knew the struggle between good and evil would never be truly over. As for what became of the guild and its heroes, that is a story for another time. I told you I could not be killed so easily, hero. <laughs> you see, dude? The dragon was slain, and yet a tremor ran through the world. Skies darkened, and every man, woman, and child in Albion succumbed to a petrified hush. The hero and Jack of Blades were one. What chaos and pain they would bring, none could say. Yet even in the most hopeless of hearts, one thing was certain. Wherever evil rose, there would always be someone to fight it. What exactly does Lucian want? Aside from godlike power? Hmm, that's a tough one. No, 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 that kind of power is a means, not an end. What does he want to do? When I knew him, he wanted to resurrect his family. Probably still does. But, give a beggar a million gold, he'll buy food. Until he's full. And then he realizes bread isn't the only thing for sale. Now we can begin. Stand in the center. You represent that which binds the three together. Strength, skill, and will. Together you will call forth the great weapon that will defeat Lucian. So now we just... Uh, do what exactly? Yeah. 
now. That... Uh... I agree. Well, I did enjoy making that pretty light with you, but with that done, what happens now? I don't know. We crossed beyond the far edge of my knowledge when he stepped into the center. Wait, where's Teresa? Well, this can't be good. Heroes. Enough power to build a new world and you waste it trying to save the old one. You're... You're Lucian. Open your eyes, Lucian. The ruins of the old kingdom are all around us. And soon they will be buried under the new kingdom. And you're looking at the new king. Pretender. Your fall will be hard indeed. Um, deal still stands, Lord Lucian. That king, Lucian. <laughs> oh, Reva, will you shut it? In fact, you can have these people for free. And so I shall. And you as well. Where is she? Your fortune-telling friend? What have you done to her? I merely listened. I should have gone out into the dark and found your body that night. But I was hasty. I let the bloodline flourish. And you have flourished. But this time is different. The last of the heroic blood will flow out onto this hilltop. Just as it now spatters the walls of your family home. Your wife and children are dead. I would have left it to one of my soldiers to do the unpleasant deed. But past experience tells me one must be absolutely certain of these things. Pitiful creature. Misguided and weak. The last time I killed you, it tore my heart out. Of course, you're only a child. But then, so was I. Death is not your destiny today, little sparrow. Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. If only we could live there. <laughs> Perhaps that could be the wrench. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Can you feel the power coursing through you? Father! I could have stopped him! That was something else. Best crucible in years! A classic performance that will be remembered for all time. Or at least as long as there are people around to remember it. <laughs> Everyone has their breaking point, and I will find yours. The rules cannot be broken. We will take whoever bears the dark sea. But oh dear, not as vivacious as you once were. Those judges can be a nuisance, can't they? <laughs> the last time I killed you, it tore my heart out. Of course, you're only a child. But then, 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 then
so was I. You have passed the test. Your rewards are the opportunity to confront your enemy and the means to destroy him. Take the box and go to him. is astounding. Twice you've cheated death. Yet your abilities are trivial compared to the infinite power of the Spire, which will soon be mine. Now, sleep. sleep. What? What is that? What are you doing? Do you think a mere trinket will save you? Do you think anything can? Stop. Think about what you're doing. I will put an end to chaos. Stop now, you fool! You insect! I order you to stop! Sleep! I command you to sleep! Sleep! Consider that a victory. You're merely delaying the inevitable. All that you've struggled for will be crushed under the majesty of the Spire. Why? Why must you interfere? What are you fighting to protect? The world that robs us of what we love most? Is that what you think is worth preserving? I thought he'd never shut up. Lucian's dead. So, what happens now? Now? It is time you gained your reward. Your gift for saving the world from a madman's selfish dream. The Spire has awakened, and it still has the power to grant one wish. Yours. Come. Take my hand. It's all right, little sparrow. Don't be afraid. You stand in the heart of the spire, as the Archon of the Old Kingdom did thousands of years ago. Now it is your turn. Make a wish, but choose wisely, for it will affect all of Albion. Sacrifice. You may choose to revive all those who died in the spire's making, but in doing so, Know that you will never see your family again. Love. Those dearest to you, your family, even your faithful dog, will be restored to life. But their lives come at the cost of the countless innocents who died in building the spire. Or wealth. More gold than you can imagine to spend on whatever pleases you. But any you loved, and all the spire's prisoners will remain dead and will not witness your newfound affluence. What will you choose? So be it.
a warm welcome awaits you at home. And any who might declare you selfish or callous, any who themselves lost family to this place, will know that given such a choice, they might well have done the same. We heard everything. Yes, a wish was made, and the world will bear its consequences. I'd do almost anything to bring back someone I loved. Oh, I think I might be ill. But you could have brought back thousands. All the victims of this horrible place. They had families too. It was his decision. Let him live with it. It's just not the choice I thought you would make. Yes, 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 yes. But on to more important matters. What about me? What do I get? Cash would be nice. That is up to you. I can send you anywhere from here. What do you wish? I wish to return home, to Samarkand. Oh, I've never been to Samarkand. Hot nights, exotic substances, and uninhibited people. It's nothing like that. Trust me, I'll find the exciting bids. Fine, but stay out of my way. Hammer? No, I'm done. I know why we got attacked in the cave the day we met. You brought those hollow men in with you. Two monks would have found nothing, but a warrior finds battle always. I want to go north, study with those warrior monks. I was so sick of avoiding violence. Now I'm sick of causing it. Goodbye, hero. I simply can't thank you enough for dragging me into this mess. Oh, I should tell you, I do have to make the occasional sojourn back to Albion. I have an obligation to some friends in Wraithmarsh. I had my doubts about you at first, but I'm glad we met, and we shall meet again. You can count on it. So, think you can handle Albion on your own? I need to get away from here for a while. Do some thinking for a change. It's not like I'm leaving much behind. Well, maybe one thing. About the greatest friend I ever had. But it's time to say goodbye. Take care of yourself. Farewell, Hammer. And now it is time for you to leave. The world is yours to enjoy. But the Spire is mine. Be gone. Thank you, witless mortal. You have granted me my freedom. Now, I will grant you the greatest gift of all. Death!
That's quite remarkable. Another successful exorcism. That skull will make a perfect paperweight. Lovely stuff. It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. Reports indicate that our defenses were able to hold off the worst of the first attack. But if we don't act quickly, even the armies we prepared for this day will not be enough. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For, for Albion! Albion. Time for me to Defend pick your the city with your lives. of your young, the gurgle Bloody of a freshly ripped throat. We give thanks for your desperation. It is a transgression against the night! Death beats its wings for you. I'll 
be sightless. For that is the most blessed state of being. It is our gift to you. Feel it. We're getting close to that thing. Where are you? Show yourself. The lost sheep returns to the flock. No one ever leaves the darkness behind. I can't see! Tainted! Tainted, broken little toys! You have done terrible things. Did you think I wouldn't know? Did you think I would allow it? Where are you? Where are you? The children. I can't see the children. You are already dead inside. Join me in darkness. I can't see! I can't see! You made us do it! You made us!
I'm sorry. <laughs> you took away the darkness. It's been inside me all this time. But it's light now. I can see the sky. And it's light. <clears throat> I don't think I can fight anymore. It's all over, Walter. We won. We beat it together. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? There was a great king once. The mightiest hero of them all. Remember what you would say. Teach me to be a hero. You've done me proud, boy. You've always done me proud. <sighs> oh, Walter. I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. My people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. Farewell, Your Majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my king. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. But you don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, king, old chum, ruler supreme, pal, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. And I think I'd like to start travelling again. Or maybe see if Paige needs any help down in industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of color, devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so. And you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you, and you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people, when it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people, and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise, but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. They're out of their misery now. You're hurt. I'll be all right. Uh, I'm no hero, though. Stay here. 
I can deal with Turner alone. I'm sure you can. You have powers the rest of us can only dream of. There might be more coming. Go. I'll hold them off while I can. It's all right, Hobson. There was no third prisoner. It was all him. Shh. It's time for your treatment, Your Majesty. Awake, Your Majesty. Good. I was afraid I might have set too high a charge. But then, you have powers the rest of us can only dream of. Hobson was mistaken. There was a third prisoner. General Turner, the finest soldier I ever served under, the finest man I ever knew, died six months ago. I couldn't save his life, but I wasn't going to let everything he believed in die with him. You see, it's time for a true revolution. And how does one bring down a king? How does one bring down a hero? By becoming one. Forgive me, Your Majesty. worked. To the end of kings and queens. All hail the King of Albion. Do you see now who the real enemy is? I am you. And only one of us can live. Leave. My dog... alone.
Do you know how many people I've seen die for someone else's cause? How much blood I've seen spilled in the name of the crown? And how many have wasted away in prisons like this one just for speaking their mind? You called yourself a revolutionary, but what changed? We swapped one ruler for another. What gives you the right to dictate our lives? Your hero blood. Do you think it makes you better than us? Well, now it's my blood too. Witchcraft Mary may have been insane, but her work was inspired. I studied it for years before setting her free, but she didn't know how to use that knowledge. Why become a filthy beast when you can become a god? General Turner wanted a military coup, but I've had better of it. I will simply take your place. I've seen how you behave. I've seen how you fight, how you make decisions. I know how to be you. And as King of Albion, I will end the crown forever. I watched Turner rot in his cell, too sick to save. I took care of him as best I could. And I learned the truth about our supposedly glorious Albion. Two identical heroes can't overcome each other. We would be locked in battle forever, always evenly matched. But I made sure the prisoners on this floor did some of my work. Now I'm stronger. I've watched you use these powers time and again. But to feel them coursing through me, it's incredible. You seem to work when you spare Faraday's life. But as long as you wear the crown, you are the enemy of people. I know many who wouldn't have taken pity on them. But that doesn't mean we should decide the fate of a whole country. A soldier must do what is necessary to protect the nation. When I sit on the throne of Albion, I will reverse every bad decision I've ever made. And then I will free the people from the rule of the crown. It's a pity you will see so long as the people of Albion will rule themselves. And the army will be there. Another revolution has failed. Perhaps it's as it should be. I don't know that I could ever have given up such power. Just remember this, King. Albion doesn't need you to sit on its throne. One day the people will claim their freedom. Quite an extraordinary and most unpleasant turn of events, if you don't mind me saying so. I never did trust Commander Milton, of course. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Game over. <laughs> <laughs>